congratulations, Brianne, and starring in the film. I was very excited to see you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hold on one second. Yeah. I'm having technical difficulties. Um, so when you first got the script, what did you think about the zombie twist? So this, this um, particular script kind of went through a few iterations, um, but when it finally fell into the hands of Marcus Dunstan, um, I felt extremely excited about it. And I also got the chance to, you know, not only re well, actually, you know what's funny? I didn't have a script, his version of the script, before I met with him. And um, it just didn't exist. <laughs> he was in the process of, of rewriting it. And he, um, him and Patrick Melton, and he met with me over Zoom and we had a, a director's meeting and he gave me his vision, um, you know, verbally and, and very physically. He's a very, very physical, theatrical guy. and. He had sound effects that he created with his mouth doing it, and he created this picture for me, this this world, this idea, and it was so interesting and so dynamic and so fun that I just, I fell in love with the idea of working with him and his vision um, so much that, you know, I, I just really wanted to do it. But honestly, Marcus is pretty much my touchstone in terms of wanting to do this film. You have had such a storied long career for such a young person. What did you sort of think making this Bloom House film? What did I think? Like, uh, what did you think about bringing your um, work in other genres into yeah. the horror genre? Well, I've done a lot of horror in the past, actually a lot of thriller based projects. Um, and so I'm not necessarily like new to the world of it, but I, what I really liked was that this one felt different from anything I'd ever done. And also like it was a, a leading role. And I think seeing an Asian American woman in a leading role can, is very empowering for me and for those watching. Um, and so I just, I liked the idea that this film, Unhuman, is um you know it's a take on a very a very played out type of film it's 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 like you know the 80s john hughes film a group of misfit kids um with with these uh very quintessential characters that you would see in high school you know they go on this field trip and it turns out to be anything but ordinary in fact it's very very horrifying and um i just liked the the genre twist and i also like the twist of seeing me in in the lead role because you know i think in 80s films you never saw um, a person of color in a leading role and i felt like there were so many things so many aspects of this film that were just um out of the ordinary and i think it makes it very interesting exciting fun to watch and so yeah, that's. I, I feel like I brought um, my experiences into that, but with that being said, this was a completely new experience for me, and it was lovely. I was very excited to see a fellow woman of color starring in not only a horror film, but not being one of the first people to pass away. So congratulations. I'm giving you a huge clap and a pat Thank on the back. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love zombie movies. I think we all love zombie movies. Um, when he, he was describing it, did you sort of realize they were going to be fast zombies as opposed to slow zombies, which are always my big fear, fast zombies. Yeah. I mean, that's that's a huge thing to consider, right? It's like, am I gonna be running a lot? <laughs> um, but I, I don't think that was like our, I'm sure he brought it up in his um, pitch to me, mm -hmm. uh, but I, I the whole movie is very fast paced. Um, I mean, it's it, there are moments of like um, where things linger a bit, and then that way, when the scare does come, it's a real gut punch, you know. I think Marcus is a great orchestrator of creating those moments, um, but it at the same time, overall, I think it's a very fast-paced movie where a lot of things happen, and a, there's a lot of an, there's an, a very talented ensemble cast, and we're showing different stories that each of them are going through, you know. And um, what I loved about the film is that these character that overall it kind of feels like um, like a graphic novel when you're watching it, the editing and the music and everything. And so um, I think that 
having fast zombies makes a little bit more sense. And I think it also, like you said, it makes it more fearful. You know, it, they're harder to escape in that way. They're a little bit more vicious, which I think is very scary and exciting. I know that you've been acting for a long time, so I assume you sort of went to, to high school. Did you bring any of your own high school young experience into the role? Because your character was sort of like the wallflower, but they also brought the um, your background as an Asian um, person and with your mother interacting with you. Yeah, so I, um, yeah, like you said, I've been acting for a long time. And so in high school, I kind of half went to school. So half of it was um, online. Um, so I did it at home and it just gave me more time to do auditions and jobs and stuff like that. And, but then the other half, I did attend school with other students. And so I, I feel like, honestly, I feel like I've gotten the full high school experience. <laughs> and and uh, with a lot of that comes, you know, insecurities and um I don't know, like, like, like these, self, a little bit of self hatred for yourself. You know, we just all kind of have that at that time where, and we, we, we want to fit in and we don't know um, exactly who we are. It's, that's part of the journey, high school. And I think that ever, and a lot of these characters are going through that. And that's what makes this film so relatable is that all, these characters all kind of have their facade um, in the beginning and it slowly gets broken down and you see all these characters go through a transformation and, and find a level of vulnerability and, and friendship and connectiveness through their vulnerability. And so, yeah, I definitely think that I brought that to this, this, this project. You know, it's something that we've all gone through high school. So I think it's very relatable. I like the relationship between you and your friend, Tamara, played by Ali Gallo. Mm -hmm. How did you sort of bring that connection? Because I totally relate it to it as a girl, as remembering my own high school friends and that ebb and flow of fighting and getting along, making up and getting back together again. Yeah, that's what I really loved about working with Ali. She's so talented. She's so open and just like fun. And um, it was it was pretty instantaneous when we met. It was just kind of like we clicked. I think that was, you know, either intentional or luck by casting um and but we both and as well with marcus we had we were very intentional about um okay let's make this feel realistic um best friends don't always get along and um you know there's definitely some tension that's created in high school especially with like when someone wants to fit in um you know kind of losing their sense of self and 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 when you have an old best friend like ever is to um, Tamara, you know, sometimes you start to lose your connection with people because you're trying so hard to please others. And um, yeah, I'm very proud of the, the portrayal that Ali and I have done in terms of the friendship and the female empowerment. And in the end, the just the pure, fe the portrayal of pure female friendship, I think is very empowering. I like the fact that <clears throat> you were able to show what it's like to try and fit in as a person of color in a predominantly white space. And I liked the way that um, Mr. that Marcus and Patrick wrote the script and direct it. How did you sort of navigate that, explaining to two men what it's like being a young woman um, and that type of role? Did you have any feedback on the script and then your portrayal? Hmm. Yeah, well, I think I got very lucky that these men are, were willing to be wrong and willing to listen to me. And, and, and Marcus is truly just, um, he, he made me feel safe and supported and heard throughout this whole process and took all of my considerations, you know, and he, um, but yeah, as I mean, when I was prepping for this role, I mean, I kind of go through this whole character's background. I think a lot of childhood, their relationship with their parents, their background is really integral into creating who this person is now, you know? And of course, in um, being one of the only people of color in the group, it is something that can make you feel like an outsider. I felt like an outsider through a lot of my life because if I was in a situation or in a group of people, friends where I, I stood out solely because of the way I looked. There was no hiding it, you know? Um, that, that can make you feel isolated. 
and I think that that only helped to um, uh, bring to light the the feeling of you know being a nobody, feeling left out, feeling like whatever in ever the character. Um, which, which we find out is not true. She's actually very powerful, very strong, but what has to happen first is she has to find the self-acceptance and the self-worth. And then you see this amazing transformation that she has. And I think that, you know, deep in this story, we get to see an Asian woman come into her own and, and find her power. And I think that's just so amazing. Yes, it's definitely a different portrayal that I find often in American media of Asian girls and women. So it's very, you did a great job, Brianne, in the role. <laughs> um, the film was very physical. Did you do any preparation for it? I know you guys had um, um, set people working on it, but you still were running, going up the stairs. You were doing a lot. Yeah, <laughs> no one really um, prepped me or warned me about how physical this movie was going to be. Although, because of all of the horror and thriller I've done in the past, I know it kind of comes with the territory. I think it makes it really fun. I, it adds another um, love challenge to the the situation, and um, I also just think that stunts are really fun. I was lucky to have um, Angel be my stunt double, and she's just amazing. And, but for the most, she did like the really crazy stuff, but for the most part, I did a lot of my own stunts. And um, I think that it really lends to the situation, especially when it's a thriller and it's so heightened, having to do those things and be so physical adds to your portrayal and the character. And um, yeah, I was deaf, and especially we were shooting in New Orleans in the summer, like June, July. And we were, you know, doing all this physical work. And so we all worked really, really hard, stunts included, crew included. And um, it was difficult. But, you know, after seeing the, the film, I think it was all worth it. And I have to ask, what is your all-time favorite zombie movie? My all-time favorite zombie movie? That's a great question. Um, Train to Busan is really good. But... Yeah, that's that's probably my favorite. I really actually enjoyed World War Z. I, I really liked it. I don't know. I thought like the 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 way they portrayed the zombies was really interesting, and I liked also the whole storyline um, about how they were created and how they kind of combat them in the end. Um, I also really love like something funny and which you know like that's why I love this film so much because it, it balances camp and funny and horror and gore um I really love zombie land and that was a great one thank you so much for speaking with me about your role in Unhuman congratulations on Bloomhouse and Epics working on this movie and I look forward to everyone else enjoying it as much as I did thank you it'll be available to buy and rent on digital June 3rd Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you so much, you too.